Hey guys, it's Damien and Trey, and welcome to, to the May 3rd edition of DSMS TV News. Leadership Club is announcing May the 4th be with you. Star Wars Day tomorrow. Wear your Star Wars attire. Welcome all Wookiees, Skywalkers, and Yodas. Please remember, no weapons allowed. Come follow the rabbit into a world of fantasies as Alice journeys down the rabbit hole into a world of talking animals, comic royalty, and caucus races. There are also the Mad Hatter's frantic tea party and taking flowers. Along the way, Alice will deal with sneezing duchesses and a baby that turns into a pig, all in her pursuit to find the eighth square and become Queen Alice. Good luck today, cast. Tonight at 6.30 and tomorrow at 2.50 are the show times. Now to a message with Mr. Hummer. Good morning, Desert Shadows. A week ago, I shared a video and a message about microaggressions on these morning announcements. The dictionary calls microaggressions a subtle but offensive comment or action directed towards minority group. These are often passed off as jokes and ignored despite the fact that they are hurtful. Targets include students with a minority, ethnic or religious background, women, and individuals who identify as LGBTQ. This topic is important to our school community because these small, repeated, negative comments can have a harmful effect on our school climate, on individual students, and groups. We can make our interactions on campus a better place through understanding and action. In fact, after my last video last week, I had students come to me to share instances and occurrences about hurtful comments. Some of these were microaggressions. Some of them were more overt harassment and we have administrators and counselors who can help students address both of these. Um, our teachers are thinking about the problem of microaggressions and I want DSMS students to have this vocabulary and understanding so that you can confront them and make our world a better place. I have another video to share with you about microaggressions, but I would like the next morning announcements about microaggressions and how we talk to one another to not be with Mr. H, uh, but to be with students, or a teacher, or maybe a few students who have something to say about microaggressions or how we talk with one another. I believe that together we can make Desert Shadows Middle School an even better place to be and learn. Please stay tuned for the following video. Good day, everyone. My name is Daryl Wingsu, and I am a professor of psychology and education at Teachers College, Columbia University. I am also author of Microaggressions in Everyday Life and Microaggressions and Marginality. Today, I would like to share with you some of the harmful impact that microaggressions have on marginalized groups in our society. But what are microaggressions? Well, microaggressions are the everyday slights, indignities, put downs, and insults that people of color, women, LGBT populations, or those who are marginalized experience in their day-to-day -day interactions with people. Microaggressions oftentimes appear to be a compliment, but contain a metacommunication or a hidden insult to the target groups in which it is delivered. People who engage in microaggressions are ordinary folks who experience themselves as good, moral, decent individuals. Microaggressions occur because they are outside the level of conscious awareness of the perpetrator. In this scene, Michael, an Asian American graduate student, is receiving academic counseling from his sponsor. They have a pleasant conversation at the end of their meeting, the advisor delivers what he believes to be a compliment to Michael by stating, quote, you know you speak excellent English, end quote. Michael is disturbed because it seems to imply that he is not a true American and that he is a perpetual alien in his own country. Microaggressions can also be delivered non-verbally through unconscious behaviors or gestures. In this scene, Jenny has finished a late night at the office and awaits the elevator. As the door opens, she takes one step forward, sees a black male rider, hesitates, and immediately clutches her purse and places her hand over her necklace. The hidden communication is that African Americans are prone to crime, will break the law, are up to no good, and will steal. Gender microaggressions occur also frequently to women. 
In this scene, Laura, a female manager, sits with her male colleagues in a meeting with the president. Note that the men tend to talk to one another, cut her off in mid-sentence, and that the president addresses only the males in the group. When Laura attempts to contribute to the discussion, she is oftentimes ignored. In one case, a male colleague checks his phone rather than listen. What can each and every one of us do to combat microaggressions? We need to realize that microaggressions are unconscious manifestations of a worldview of inclusion, exclusion, superiority, inferiority. Thus, our major task is to make the invisible visible. There are, in essence, five things that we need to do individually. First, learn from constant vigilance of your own biases and fears. Second, Experiential reality is important in interacting with people who differ from you in terms of race, culture, ethnicity. Thirdly, don't be defensive. Fourthly, be open to discussing your own attitudes and biases and how they might have hurt others or in some sense revealed bias on your part. Lastly, it is very important to be an ally. Stand personally against all forms of bias and discrimination. I wrote two books, Microaggressions in Everyday Life and Microaggressions and Marginality to help us combat microaggressions at the individual, institutional, and societal level. If we are to become a fair, just, and humane society, I hope each and every one of you will join me in this important journey. Thank you. Want to spend a week in London in summer of 2018? Attend a parent meeting tomorrow, Thursday, May 4th at 6 p.m. in Miss Samuel's room, A6. Current 7th and 8th graders are invited to attend. Anyone is welcome. Also, flyers are available in Mrs. Samuel's room. We're back. We're back. That's all for today, DSMS. Have a cool Wednesday. That I'm at an all time. Yeah. No, 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 no.